Hi, and welcome to Real Life with Jenny. My name's Jenny Sandipuratna. Grab your favorite drink and a snack, and we will get started. Today, I have blueberries, which are always delightful, and I have some Ceylon mango tea that I got from Panera. And really, why is it so much better when you buy it and someone else kind of did the work? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's get real. So I'm going to share something with you that is a little more, I don't know, personal, maybe. I don't, I'm not sure. But I was going to have my daughter on to talk through it with me because she is a huge part of this episode. But unfortunately, when you are her age, social life, homework, and all of the different activities that she's involved in kind of has me only doing this during the times I'm not sitting and waiting in the car. That is what I've decided. Being a teenage mom, a mom of a teenager, means you wait in the car quite a bit. You know, when you're little, you go in, when they're little, you get to go in with and be part of the activities. And then all of a sudden you have a teenager and you just find yourself sitting in the car. <laughs> anyway, I want to share something that she has kind of been life-changing for me, honestly, and it all comes from my beautiful 15-year-old. So we one day went to church, and it happened to be a Sunday that she was volunteering, so I didn't go with Kevin on the road to go speak. Kevin was speaking somewhere else, and my daughter was volunteering, so then I went to church. You know, there we are. And I sat in church, and it was not a very good Sunday for me. I'll be completely honest. It was not a good Sunday. I was very overwhelmed. It was one of the Sundays since we show up so rarely. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of people, but I don't know anyone all at the same time. And it, it was a very lonely, lonely Sunday. I don't think I saw anybody I really even knew. I sat alone, which I do when Kevin's not there anyway. But it was just a really dark day for me. And I was feeling so overwhelmed by um, being completely alone and all the things that we needed to do that week. You know, sometimes when you look at your to-do list on Sundays for the rest of the week, I just kind of go into panic mode. So we get in the car and we're driving home and my daughter's like, mom, how are you? And I'm like, "Um, honestly, like I should say I'm fine, but I'm not. (laughs) And I'm like, "I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. And she could obviously tell, like, you think you're hiding things and you know you're not, right? Like, so often we're like, I'm fine. And everybody knows you're not. Like, you, very few people can pull off, I'm fine, and really be telling the truth about it. Anyway, and so she, I was like, I'm just, I'm feeling overwhelmed about everything that needs to be done. There's a lot to do on our to-do list. And I'm just, there's almost too much to do in the week I have. And you know, Kevin's got his thing and you have your thing and I just need to get these things done. And ah, and she said to me something that, oof, kind of hit me. <laughs> and she said, mom, are you wanting me to help you fix this? Or do you just want to have a listening ear? And I was like, say that again. She said, do you want me to help you fix the problem you're walking through right now? Or are you just needing to vent and have someone listen? And honestly, I was blown away. I was like, what? (laughs) Okay, why have I not been using this all my life, first of all? And I said, I don't want you to fix this. I wasn't looking for someone to fix it. There was nothing we could do. Um, I, I just, and I didn't even want to vent it. I was just feeling overwhelmed. And she was like, okay, I am just here. You can just... Uh, It won't affect me. Like, just share what you want to share, Mom. It's not that big of a deal. Tell me what you have to do this week. And I was like, I don't want to overwhelm you. And she was like, no, just tell me. I'm not going to do any of it. (laughs) Which I love the honesty. Like, I just love the genuineness of, if you don't want my help, I'll listen and I won't fix it. And I was like, okay. So I told her the things I had to do. We actually came home and she was like, okay, can we go through that list again? And she wrote it all down. And then I, then she was like, let's put this on a timeline. And like, duh, 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 you know, because she's so organized. It's kind of ridiculous. Her and her father. And I'm like, meh, you know, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed by it, but I don't want to make a list. <laughs> like, 
you know, anyway. And so I've been thinking a lot about this moment. It was one of those moments that I thought, why am I not doing this more in my relationships and my relationship with God? I know that sounds really bizarre and maybe it is bizarre, but we so often take other people's burdens on our life. Like we hear what's going on in their life and we try to fix it or we try to jump in and we're like, oh, they need this. Let me help you. You know, whenever someone is like financially struggling, like I want to give them money. Like, I always can't because, you know, there's not a lot to go around some days, but you want to fix it. You're always trying to get in and, you know, oh, you need help with your, uh, with cleaning your house. Sure. I'll come over and clean your house. I've done some crazy things in the past when it comes to like someone needed help. And all of a sudden I find myself in a situation that is way above my head (laughs) And like, I had the opportunity once someone was having surgery and I was like, sure, I'll do your laundry. And then I realized, wait a minute, I don't like to do my own laundry and now I'm doing other people's laundry. No, it was great. And I'm really glad I got to do it. But so often I'm trying to fix other people's problems instead of saying, hey, do you just want a listening ear? Is that what you're looking for right now? Are you looking for someone to come in and fix it? Or are you looking for someone just to listen? And I really felt like if I took that into my life and I said, do you just need someone to listen? That that would be life changing in my relationships, first of all. And I would stop carrying other people's burdens and stop holding the world on my shoulders. You know, anybody else do that? Is anybody else like, I'm carrying the world. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Like I'm completely hunched over and can barely um, function in life, but I'm fine how can I help you? (laughs) And I started thinking and processing this more when it came to my relationship with God. And I'm so often trying to fix things that I forget to stop and say, I just need you to listen. Or he needs me to listen. You know, I'm so often like, here's the problem. Here's how we're going to fix it. And sometimes God just says, hey, Jenny, can you just listen for a minute? I have a solution that isn't that big of a deal. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. When you read through the Bible and God talks about standing beside you and helping you and helping you soar with wings like eagles, like I might be taking some of those out of context, but really God is saying, I am here to help you, but sometimes you have to stop and listen. Sometimes you have to have that moment with God and say, God, am I trying to fix this when I don't need to and I should be listening or should I be fixing this and stop waiting around? Like, which one is it right now, Lord? You know, because there are times that you need to fix something, right? There are times that you need to like make a change, do something different. You know, that is absolutely part of our lives. But there are other times that we just need someone to stop and listen to us or we need to stop and listen to them or the Lord. And so I'm just here to encourage you today in a very, very simple way. Make this part of your prayer life. Do I need to fix this or do I need to listen? Lord, where are we? Am I supposed to allow you and see what you have to do? Or are there some steps I need to do? Am I listening to you or am I just running ahead like a chicken with my head cut off? Like, There are so many times that I just get so overwhelmed and then I write everything down and I'm like, oh, there really isn't that much to do, right? Sometimes you just are like, there's so much to do. I'm never going to be able to do all this and this person needs me and that person needs me and I need to bake this for that bake sale and ah, and then you actually write it down and you go, oh, really? I've got a, I don't have that much to do. Now, Honestly, there's a lot of times you write it down and go, ah, why did I write all this down? (laughs) Right? Sometimes you're like, okay, maybe I should have written this down because now I know everything I'm supposed to do and it's overwhelming. But I will tell you, this was almost like a month and a half ago, maybe even longer. And I still have the to-do list that she wrote on my fridge that is not done. (laughs) There are still things on that list that I've not gotten to because I realized that I was freaking out about things that didn't need to be done. 
there were things there that I, well, one of them was to shave down the dog because I started giving my dog haircuts back in March of 2022 because it was, everything was closed and he was a, a mess and he needs a haircut because he doesn't shed. So I started doing that and he was a mess at this point when I wrote this down a month and a half ago and I ended up having to bring him to a groomer, pay a ton of money because it just did not fit. I had to find another solution. Will I pay for that again? No, no, I will not. Not after the bill that I got. But, <laughs> but really, we need to take time and understand when we're talking to our friends, when we're talking to our spouse, even when we're talking to our children or our coworkers, or I mean, like you could really apply this anywhere. Do you need me to fix this or do you just need me to listen? Lord, do you need me to fix this or do you just need me to listen? Which one do you need? And maybe, just maybe, the burden will become lighter and you will find more freedom in your life and in your relationships and in your relationship with God and in your relationship with yourself. Because when you are constantly beating yourself up for things that you just are never going to get to, it is overwhelming and it defeats everything. Because as a mom, as an adult, I think there are so many pressures. And sometimes to just re relieve those pressures, we need to say, do you need me to fix this? Or do you need me to listen? Well, that's all I have for this week. You can find us on Instagram and on Facebook at Real Life with Jenny or on ChristConnection.cc slash Jen. All of my information is there. Please like, rate, and share this podcast with everyone you know. Um, <laughs> I know, see, I'm getting more and more bold. Isn't this crazy? But I really, really challenge you to get those words in your heart. Do you need me to fix this or do you just want me to listen? Which one, Lord? And maybe, just maybe, a little bit of pressure will be taken off those shoulders. You all have a great week.